filmmaking and movies was something that impacted me greatly as a young as a young person, as a child coming up. So I wanted to have that power and wield that power for myself, that a power to affect people um, and influence change. The type of stories I like to tell basically have a lot to do with message and um, moral standards and things like that. And I, I try to influence our society and try to influence people to be more compassionate towards each other. My favorite part of the process is definitely directing. Because um, I do everything. I shoot, I, I direct, I edit, I write. Um, but I definitely, definitely love directing. I love being on set, being in the meat of it, and having that the vision happen, having that on set thing, the work, the dynamics, the, 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 the gears turning. I like, I like to be there in that moment. <laughs> the worst part of the whole process is definitely the pre-production. Um, in terms of just getting the preparation, doing all the, because it's so metic it can be so meticulous. And the truth is, if you really want to get it right, you have to spend a lot of time preparing, you know, and, and making sure that you have everything in place. I mean, even though Murphy's going to show up and things are going to go crazy on the day, you want to make sure that you put the time in before. Sunday was awesome for me as an experience, um, because especially because it was the first proper film that I was shooting, like outside of my thesis films and stuff that I had done, you know, otherwise, just smaller, smaller stuff. Sunday was like the real deal for me. Um, and it was amazing to think that, you know, I had, you know, proper professionals working with me and, and thing and shooting for me. And at every, every turn, there was someone there who was well equipped to do their job. And to me, I was told when I was at film school that, um, a good director knows how to hire well, or knows how to choose his crew well. That's what makes a director even better. I mean, I want to be a prolific, you know, filmmaker, but I want to have at least one cult, great cult classic that is appreciated all over the world. You know what I mean? That, that will live long after I die.